This is BBC Two. Well, of that fact, we're certain. But for the next few minutes, fact and fiction become strangely blurred. Good evening. Stuff tonight. The Department of Health has announced new restrictions for the treatment of teeth on the NHS. Dentists will now only offer free treatment on eight teeth, and the new rules say those teeth must be nominated at birth. Health Secretary Virginia Bottomley has backed the scheme since its inception Dentist. and says the new rules prevent dentists trying to get away with treating the eight teeth least likely to go wrong. <laughs> now time for sport with Alan Partridge. Thanks, Chris. And over at Sandown this afternoon, there was a great finish to the 3.30 Chicory Tip Incest Cup. We'll take up the race with two furlongs to go. Novelty Bubble on the inside, Novelty Bubble followed by Immaculate Pasta, Christ's Chin coming up on the inside, followed by Abba the Horse and Alf Ramsey's Porn Dungeon. Coming up the rear, Sinead O'Connor, but Novelty Bubble is holding his own with Immaculate Pasta, Christ's Chin, Christ's Chin, Abba the Horse on the inside. Small Town Gypsy Massacre gaining ground, closely followed by Epileptic Fridge Boy. And Alf Ramsey's Porn Dungeon breaking through there. Alf Ramsey's Porn Dungeon. Alf Ramsey's Porn Dungeon. Sinead O'Connor, third. But uh, no, it seems to me that Christ's Chin and Astonishing Bomb Queen are nowhere because it's Small Town Gypsy Massacre, Alf Ramsey's Porn Dungeon, Sinead O'Connor. No, Christ's Chin won! I got confused. And that race was marred by an earlier incident in which champion jockey Lester Piggott fell from his horse and had to be destroyed. Environation from me, Rosie May. The government has agreed to fund further research into organically grown meat. Several farms have already developed thriving flesh beds using a synthetic pork seed imported from America. By next year, three quarters of East Anglia will be covered in meat fields. I'm Rosie May and my ducks are green. On the day today's big programme, our in situ documentary charts the relationship between staff and public at St. Lamb's Swimming Pool in Acton. There is a, a young lady there who was treading water. I watched the path you took, and you swam directly into her chestal area. I'm not a cruel man. I won't inform your parents or the school as long as you undertake now not to swim into any young or middle-aged ladies' chestal area within this municipal borough. Plus, controversy as new fertility drug causes babies to be born at over 30 miles per hour. We do manage to catch most of them um, with this, but unfortunately, you know, we don't, we don't get them all. Good night. Bye-bye. Cheers. Good. <laughs>